We just know about the Kundalini, that she's coiled up in three and a half and she's lying in the triangular bone known as sacra. But we don't know what she works, how she works, what happens to us. She, she rises in six centers and breaks the seventh, I should say, breaks the seventh, sixth center because Ganesha's center doesn't play any role. So when she breaks, the sixth center, which is the Sahasrara, then she connects you to the all-pervading power of Divine Love. <coughs> but what is this Divine Love? What does this do? It is the energy of the Mother. They can say it is the energy of Adi Shakti, which is all over, works through vibrations. But what are these vibrations? It's a very subtle energy that starts flowing through your Sahasrara. All the thousand petals of the Sahasrara get slowly enlightened and it starts flowing throughout your body, throughout your hands, feet, throughout your body. And the more you are, <coughs> I mean your attention is on the Sahasrara, the more it works faster. Now in the science I've read that they have discovered an energy called, they call it, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> because I was the scientist, <laughs> forget this, uh, what energy? Quantum, huh? quantum energy. Quantum, I don't know why they call it quantum, because quantum is four. So it might be meaning the energy of Ganesha, maybe, I don't know. Because scientists are blind people, I don't know what they call what. So they are saying there's a quantum energy. Now this quantum energy, according to the, them, flows in a very subtle manner and it is normally not visible, but it has light. You have seen that in so many of photographs of mine, this light of all kind. This energy moves in a light. So this is the quantum energy, I think, again, I am not very sure, because scientists are always found them a little bit vague. But this quantum energy they are talking about is something like the spiritual energy or the energy of love, which flows around. <coughs> And this quantum energy, they do not know what it does, but they have seen it has got light. They call it quantum because according to them it flows in bundles and every bundle is a quanta, according to them. Now this energy, when it flows, as you have seen yourself, it works. It works in every direction, in every dimension. For example, it works physically. <coughs> Supposing you have some physical ailment. You have seen many people get cured in my presence, just in my presence. I need not do anything to them. Or also, as soon as you see somebody, I know what he's suffering from. That's also, I must say, my connection with the Divine. And uh, that tells me what's wrong with what person and what should be done. And it can be cured in no time, because that also comes to me just like that. I mean, I don't ask any questions, I don't try to find out, I do not analyze, but it just says, do like this. Or it also doesn't say, it just does. <coughs> it just works automatically 
It is very difficult to explain how this energy works. But all of you who have got Realization can also work out your own energies. How? <coughs> By releasing it, by feeding it, by giving it to others, by experimenting. 